hi guys today i will teach you how to insert data into asp.net using visual basic net so first of all i created a pre made html table and inside the table there are two html text and one vv.net label just for showing a little word it's very simple so in the i inserted two text box from the standard toolbar one is and one i name is txt name the id name id is txt name and the other one is txt class and one button from the standard toolbar here so i name is i name it button one or you can simply name it btn insert okay now for inserting data into the table or into the database first of all i will add a new item in the app data sql server database i will name it school okay the database created under the app data folder go to server explorer school mdf is created select the school mdf go to properties you will see the properties of the database now for inserting the data into your table i will double click the insert button first of all for the connection i will i will it will need an sql connection for this i will import two classes import system dot data sql import Yeah, the two classes for inserting a data updation or deletion so I will declare two variables dim cn as a new SQL okay here I will post the connection string uh, many of SQL Server are have different type of S S uh, connection strings, but I am using a new method or simple method. Just clicking on the database in the Server Explorer and go to the properties. I copy this one connection string and paste it here. Okay. Here, what I will need the comma started here and one double quotes comma or here I will delete this one and I will delete this one also so there will be only two quoted double quotes one at the end and one at the start so that's our connection string now then cms new sql command okay this is this is what I need insert the data into the database so now first of all connection open cm dot command connection is equal to cn command test here we will insert a command query insert into detail sorry okay first of all we have, have to make a table here Insert okay. Add a new table where I, I will need to insert the data. So I will need ID, integer, name, varchar 50, and class. And char 10 is okay. Okay, the increment should be automatically so identity increment yes and will be one one so the increment rate is one save it on the name of details okay so you can see that the table is added you have three columns and there is no data in the 
7 null 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 you can see null 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 now go to your vb here we will insert into details which is the table name you can see a table name is details insert into the details okay here we will insert data i will only insert data in name and class and values which will i get are two so i get the value of name which is txt name and the value of class from txt class and insert will insert the data so anyhow go here into the values it cm dot execute none query so the, uh, the this will in execute the query which is insert query and message me if it succeeded right here data insert it and close the mesh so that's it so this is all the code just import two classes, make a connection string, declare two variables, one is connection string and the other is command, make a connection open, command connection is equal to connection and give a command, execute the command and write some type of information up if it succeeded and then close the connection. Now try it very simple you can see the page is open I will put Alan in the name and he read in class 6 you can see the data is inserted now check your database okay. show table okay it's not shown here but I will execute the SQL so it will show you the data inside the table you can see automatically add the id and the name is ln and then 